seem like it has too much of a negative uh, connotation like sure it feels like this stuff isn't nearly as good as what we've been watching and what's probably going to even come up in the future but at that same time we do know that every single character in this show has some like importance usually and I think that's what they're trying to capture in this mini, this mini story, you know, like this original story is that everybody still has this um, importance, you know, they still have this relatively uh, need for us to see them in some way, shape, or form. So if that is the case, they need to do something. And my only problem with that is the things they're doing <laughs> are being undermined or bested by people without any powers that's what I don't get about it all right like I can understand if some of them had like unique powers like the barrier guy sure and all that stuff but most of them don't have any powers none whatsoever and they're still being capable of you know getting the upper hand or being in a better position than our magic knights to be able to make these kind of calls you know make these kind of uh, choices for them and if they don't abide they pretty much have to uh, lose someone or something so that being said it's obvious to me that when we're going to see um, when we're going to see all this stuff kind of build up, it might end so lackluster that it won't even be worth talking about in the future, which is unfortunate. This seemed like it has some potential to it, and all of a sudden, all that potential just feels like it was gone out the window, um, mainly due to them recycling and recycling and recycling different things that have already been said not only did they explain to us what the books are and what they mean again right like oh did you know that the the black clover and no it's like did you know that the one leaf clover is this and this and I was like, I was like bruh are you kidding me you're explaining to magic users what it actually means to use the magic or like what their books mean so it just it just made no sense it was a lot of dialogue that was just hot garbage and I can understand why it's so garbage because they can't really say anything about future stuff they can't really set up all that much without being vague because all we know so far is that for some odd reason or another there's people out there who who is saying they can give people the devil magic right people are out there spreading some type of lie yeah you'll be able to get this magic and once you get it you'll be just like Asta Asta had no magic and as soon as he got magic he actually could do a lot of things like okay but what did he have to do to get to that point he trained so hard and ridiculously that even if he had this sword and he couldn't react to everything he's seen he couldn't swing his sword fast enough to everything he's going against then uh, none of this would matter <laughs> you know like none of this would be able to do anything to any of these knights because they also can move pretty fast I don't know if you guys know this <laughs> um, 
but that being said it was really obvious that once they started talking about oh this one is about lucky love and this and that and then the five leaf clover it bestows a devil it almost just sounds like they finally watched the opening credits that we've been forced to watch for almost 160 plus episodes okay um like yes that is exactly what happens but did you know that we've seen this hundreds and hundreds of times explained stop um then not to mention just the fact of the matter that oh us people who don't have mo uh, magic were mocked and this and that it's like yes <laughs> you really you you were mocked you mean like how we watched a young boy who had no friends at all besides the people at the orphanage and even the people at the orphanage who weren't good at magic were mocking him oh so that happens to other people how is that possible you know it's like so much regurgitated stuff that it almost ruined this whole entire filler for me because you can you can do filler and not talk about the other stuff but it's this type of filler that they're trying to make it coincide with um with the actual you know manga like they don't want us to watch this and not get any information out of it that will be useful towards you know the end point that's usually what filler is it usually has no useful information and winds up you know on the chopping board and no one ever hears about it again but that's what you've chosen to do so if you're gonna do that at least make it entertaining because this man this this is kind of whack but overall I definitely want to hear your guys's opinion about this because like I said it was alright but the problem was they then started beating captains uh, they beat a captain by just you know luck or something or they you know they escaped from all the captains uh, not to mention they've you know pretty much beaten Asta ran up on Asta and beat him when he was at his best you know he wasn't felt like his whole entire any of his swords were missing felt like he was in a like he was sick nothing he just came in threw some sleeping powder on him and that was a wrap <laughs> so to think that any of this stuff is kind of um getting to like these people with no magic are even getting to the magic users is interesting but now that they're just regurgitating things we've already known like the Leafs and uh, how people mock them and look down on them because they didn't have magics like yes we know and last but not least the fact of the matter that they've 110 percent had no forward pacing at all that is what probably disgusted me the most out of all of this the pacing literally went nowhere what happened last week we saw them on a mountain and they were about to try to stop them they then go in front of them or behind them stop them and that's the whole show that's it that was all they talked in the same spot that Asta first tried to stop them at and then they walked a little bit forward and then Yami shows up and stops them again like not only did you put the the writers of this put themselves on the literal edge or the literal border I should say of not being able to have the our knights our wizard knights capable of doing anything a little bit further and they wouldn't have been out of their jurisdiction just like cops in Mexico's if they if people cross the Mexico border and the cops are right behind them they have no jurisdiction anymore and they can't arrest you on you know American laws and stuff like that but that's what this pretty much was get get there and you should be able to you know do whatever you want after you get there no <laughs> no 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 of course not it's more or less they go and now they're being stopped yet again because why not <laughs> why not 
but yeah, overall, I I honestly have hopes for this show. I really do hope it, or not to show, but uh, this arc. Hopefully, they do pull up something a little bit more worth watching. I guess you can say because as as of right now, this is pretty lackluster. And at the end of the day, I know they can do better than this. I 100% know they can. So I do look forward to seeing if they do. But overall. Let me know what you guys are thinking about all this stuff. Do you think they can pull off their own filler or stuff? Or does this pretty much prove that that is not the case? I bet they should probably just chill out. <laughs> but with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be when you're watching this. The Wizard King sucks. I'm, I have nothing to fight with. How am I supposed to fight when I have nothing? <laughs> Well, with all that being said, take care, everybody, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. What? Breath.